often highlight some of the best items found in D2R on this channel. And whereas this is the last episode of 2021, we had to go the extra mile. In this video, we're gonna look at the best D2R items for December and highlight what could probably be the best item ever found, allegedly selling for 4,000 US dollars. The constant grind to find items in D2R can be pretty tiresome, so it's good to see what other players are finding so that we may all keep our eyes out and know what we're looking for. I'm gonna start by showing off this low-level dueling amulet that was found by JFK. This is a solid five-point amulet right here, and when you look at it, you might be thinking, ah, oh, it's only plus one to sorcerer's skills. But the good thing about this is that when you look at the required level, it's only 29. While these can spawn with two to specific skill tabs at this level, this is still a pretty all-around great sorceress amulet for all of those low-level duelers out there. While we all set out to acquire those amazing 220 amulets, sometimes people don't understand that they don't quite need to be 220 to reach certain breakpoints and to be absolutely godly. Bowie in his Trade Shark Savagery acquired this item right here, which may actually be one of the best assassin amulets that currently exists on Battle.net. If this thing had any significant amount of resistances on it, you might also see this going for 4,000 US dollars. And speaking of crafting, it seems like some of the nastiest finds or rolls often come from the Haradric Cube. A couple of users this month managed to roll 45 Lifer Charms that rolled plus one to a significant skill tab. Android got his hands on this 45 Life Trapper Grand Charm, while Evo managed to roll this 45 Lifer Warcry Grand Charm. And I always like to highlight items that were at one point featured in our items that most players never find videos. Fish in our Discord has been keeping track of and trying to acquire some damage reduction items. And this is one that deserved an honorable mention in one of those previous videos. This is the Artisan's Tiara of Life Everlasting, providing three sockets and damage reduced by the maximum amount of 25. This is amazing on an Immortal Sorceress, but it's also really good in PVP for certain setups versus an Assassin. You might be wondering why, and it's because that integer damage reduction can actually completely negate the damage from Mind Blast. Although your character will still get stunned, it'll force an assassin in PvP to come in and actually finish you with kicks or traps. One of the first items that we saw posted to the trophy room in Discord this month was these six point boots from Savina. Not only are these tri-res boots with 30 faster run walk and 10 faster hit recovery, but they also spawned with the very useful mod of Replenish Life. These are truly a trophy find and definitely one of the best pair of boots that I've seen in 2021. I say one of because another user managed to find another item that was on one of our previous lists of items that most players never find. Spooky got his hands on these quad res boots that spawned cold lightning and fire resistance along with poison length reduced. As we talked about in that video and for all intents and purposes that's just about as good as poison resistance on these boots. When you can Consider that rare boots can only spawn with up to six mods on them. These are some of the best ones that can possibly pop up. Not only did Android roll a perfect 45 lifer Warcry Grand Charm this month, but he also got his hands on a 2015 Griffin. While this isn't 100% perfect with the defense roll, it's perfect for all intents and purposes. This item alone is super rare to find, but to find a perfect negative 20 to enemy lightning resist, along with plus 15% to lightning skill damage, those perfect rolls really drive this item home as a true trophy find and definitely one of the best things that I've seen in D2R for 2021. Anyone who picks up diadems, circlets, coronets, or anything like that is always looking for these rare finds when they do. Recently on stream, I found a 23020 Amazon circlet with resistances, which was pretty dope. Look at this shit! Oh my god, this is the sickest circlet ever! Oh! Oh my god! This is so good! But it's pretty significantly outdone by what Sorrel got his hands on. This is probably one of the best necro diadems that we've seen in D2R so far. While 222 open socket helms were the thing in D2 LOD, in D2R, the 30% faster run walk is practically required when you're going up against Sins in PvP. The faster run walk will more easily allow you to escape their mind blast locks, which is super weird, but I'm oddly okay with it. 
So when you take that into consideration and figure that Sorrel got his hands on a 230-20 2 open socket, all res, necro diadem, this thing is just absolutely insane. We have talked about some pretty spectacular jewels in previous videos, but Savina managed to get his hands on a pretty rare one. We've talked about the notorious 30-60-9-9 jewel in previous videos, and this guy got something that's pretty damn close. This is a 30-60-7-7 jewel right here, and it might actually be the closest thing that we've seen so far to a 30-60-9-9. I'm sure someone will prove me wrong in the trophy room soon, but regardless, this is an absolute trophy fine. And now on to the meat of the video, the ring that sold for 4,000 US dollars. The only drawback to spending $4,000 on a ring like this is that you can't propose to your girlfriend with it, but something tells me the person who did doesn't have one. The owner of this item wanted to remain anonymous, and I completely understand why. If the story is true and any amount of real world currency was spent on this, the person who received the money could be in big trouble, as it's technically a violation of the Blizzard TOS. Regardless, this ring is an absolute savage of a D2R digital piece. The ring spawned with 10% faster cast, a perfect 20 to strength, a perfect 40 to life, plus 81 to mana, and a perfect all resistances plus 11. It also has a little bit of attack rating on there, making this technically a 5.5 point ring. That being the case, I can't even imagine what this would have fetched if the attack rating would have spawned up to like 120. Regardless, it's still an absolute best in slot item for many, many casters or duelers out there in D2R. I guess I could say we've seen crazier things in video games before. Part of me still has my doubts, but Honestly, this item is absolutely insane and I would definitely believe it. I want to give a big shout out to Raiden in our Discord for giving out an absolute ton of Unid Torches and Shakos. Generosity can change the world, my friend, and yours truly does mean a lot to a lot of people. Happy New Year to you and to all the D2R fans across the world. Thanks for watching.